Guys, I think I found the most tough looking RC car on the market. Just look at this guys, and it's not only the looks. This car's got the slipper clutch, ball bearings, metal gears and a lot more. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got another very interesting RC car to look at, and there's only one reason why I bought this one. This car looked badass on the pictures, and therefore I bought it. So the box is quite boring, so let's dive into the unboxing. Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, a 1200mAh lithium ion battery, we've got the USB charger, a rack of trim, some manual and a lot of spare bits and pieces. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on two AA's which you need to supply of your own. So it's capable of one and driving, we've got a foam wheel, it, it's all plastic made but it feels very sturdy in my opinion. It's a bit bulky but that's all fine. So this is your on off switch, this is your throttle rate, this is your light switch and this is your steering trim and this is like a funky LED inside there and that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car but first I'm going to add some trim, some bits and pieces and then I will come back to you. And here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well I think that this car really looks badass, just look at all the details that they have added to this car, all the trim you know, I really like the appearance of it. So the doors can be opened, we've got mirrors, we've got a full interior, all the hinges are made of metal which is always a good thing, even the bonnet or the hood can be opened and even here you will find some metal hinges you know, that's a thumbs up for me. So over here you will find your motor and we've got a heatsink pre-installed on there and right over there is your slipper clutch adjustment you know this car will cost you around a hundred bucks i think it was i will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself you know but you will have um, yeah, a slipper clutch inside there we've got ball bearings and a lot more so let's have a closer look at all the details in the front of the car you will find the plastic front bumper and we've got some headlights and some indicators. So in the rear you've got also some normal lights, we've got indicators or turn singles and we've got reverse lights. So I really like the lighting system so far. So here you can see the axle mounted servo and I really like axle mounted servos and we've got a servo saver already mounted on there. So the shocks are a bit disappointing. So these are just simple friction shocks and I really would like to have seen that this car has got some oil shocks. We've got, uh, because we've got a lot of other good stuff that they have mounted to this car so for example like i mentioned before we've got a slipper clutch so that's already a thumbs up but we've got some metal gears inside there we've got some metal cvds we've got ball bearings inside there so why do not add some metal or some oil filled chucks you know that's a big downside in my opinion but it is what it is We've got a four link setup in the front and in the rear and the linkages are just made of plastic. So the drive shafts are also made of plastic but they look pretty thick so I think they are going to be fine. So right over there is your on off switch and this is your battery compartment. So you've got one little clip and then you can access the battery compartment and that's all fine. So let me turn some batteries and show you when it's on. The car is powered on and here you can see the headlights and we've got some indicators in the front and in the rear. So here you can see the rear ones, so we've got some normal lights and you've got some brake lights and reverse light. So I really like the lighting system. So the steering servo, it's pretty fast as you can see and for the size of this car it's got plenty of power, so that's all fine. So throttle wise this is the low power setting and this is at the high power. So we've got a pretty decent wheel speed. So yeah, modulation, so this is the slowest it can go. And that looks pretty promising. So it's a bit noisy the drive line, but you've got plenty of torque as you can see. There's only one thing left to do now and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys we're on the test course and I'm going to test this one on the 116 and the 124 scale obstacles because I don't think this is capable enough for the 110 scale obstacles. So this is the first one, it should make it all up the way, this big boulder. But let's see if we can do it. And here we go without any problem, so let's go to the next one. 
Here is another incline and let's see if he can make it all the way up here. So here we go, not a lot of problems here. Here is another very steep incline and only the best 116 scale or 124 scale cars can get up here. So let's see if this one can do it. So this is like a 112, 114 scale car and it's struggling as you can see the tires are just not grippy enough to get up here. The profile is just too flat, so no knobs at all. No, 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 no. Now let's see how this car performs when driving on a slope. So here we go, and most of the cars will tip over here. Only the best ones can do it. So this is a slightly bigger car, so it's got a light advantage, but still, you know, well, it does a pretty good job, if you ask me. I'm really surprised about that. So the drive line is pretty noisy, but you know, it is what it is. But here we go guys. So the slope test, uh, it passed that. Now let's see how this car performs when doing some rock crawling. So this is the 116 scale obstacles, but I don't think, yeah, this is going to perform pretty well on the 110 scale. You know, these tires are just not ma made for rock crawling and I can see the rims slipping inside the tires. So the tires aren't glued, so that's a bit of a downside, but that's an easy job to do yourself. Let's find a different line to see if we can get up here. So this is not a real rock crawler, you know, this is like, yeah, a little bit of everything. So a little bit of crawling, a little bit of trailing, a little bit of bashing around. Yeah, oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, you see, it's not the best thing rock crawling, but yeah, it managed to get up there. So let's do a little walk with the car and see how it performs. So we've got some boulders right over here and we are coming up to the grass within a sec. So yeah, driving it like this is all fine, you know. So let's see if we can get over there. So this big boulder. Oh, yes, it went over there. Did you see that? So just in the grass right now, full power. Yeah, it's fun to drive. So this car is a little bit of everything and that's all fine, you know. I think my battery is a bit flat. So I will just give you some driving footage. So guys, that was the driving with the MN model, the MN128. And what do I think of this car? Well, appearance-wise, I really like this car. So they have added a ton of small details to this car, you know, opening doors, opening bonnet or hood. So the overall package, I really like that. So performance-wise, this is not a trail truck, it's not a crawler, it's not a basher. It's like uh, do a little bit of everything, and that's all fine, you know. It's more like a uh, high-end toy grade instead of hobby grade, but I had tons of fun playing around. So the motor has got plenty of power the servo has got plenty of power we, we've got some metal drive lines you know uh, the overall package yeah that's all fine there's only one big downside of this car and that are the shocks so these are just simple friction shocks and when driving over the field this thing just bounces around so that's a yeah a thumbs down for me the shocks and the drive line is a bit noisy in my opinion but yeah th it is what it is but overall this package I really had fun driving this car around Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.